and welcome back inside the Cox 11 Sports Report, where now it's time for pilot of practice. As this week, the pilots Larry Obama headed out to Green Run High School to check in on the Stallions and their efforts in the Beach District. I'm Larry Obama here at Green Run High School. Earlier this season, Stadium's coach Sean Wilson was trying to find a running back to replace Dejore Simmons, who's now at James Madison. He found the replacement in Drake Lambert. We're here with the area's leading rusher, Drake Lambert. Drake talk about this season. I mean, you're leading the area, almost 1,000 yards rushing. What's it like? I mean, it's a good feeling. I'm not used to all the publicity. So I'm kind of, I wasn't known before this, but now I'm making a name for myself. What has been the key to you being good and being successful this season? First off, I got a good chemistry with my linemen, and they motivates in the block for me. Then I just find the holes and run. Yeah, he stepped up for us. Um, he lifted weights and was involved in the off-season program, lifting and running and running track. So, and he came in and watched film. So he did a lot of things to get himself prepared for this season. I mean, all of them are small guys, about the same size that I've had lately at Green Run. But uh, he, only thing different from him and Dejo, he just don't have the speed that Dejo had. You know that four three state champion hundred meter speed. But uh, Jay Craig's won about a four six, and he has a lot of good vision, so he can see the field. So that helps him out. I get the ball and I just try to stay on my feet till I reach the end zone. See, I'm not that fast, but I mean. I can make people miss. Now, I mean, you guys also run a wildcat offense as well. Yeah. Has that been able to be one of the keys to keeping people off balance? Yeah, since I have a threat, I could pass a little. It has Other teams have to respect it. Mm -hmm. I can't just run, but I could pass also. Yeah, how good is your arm? I mean, how far can you throw the ball? I could throw a ball. I need to work on my accuracy some more, though. Now, how many touchdowns have you thrown this year already? Three. Well, we try to get them involved. Like, we had Romel Glover when I first got here running some of the same um, kind of plays. You got to respect him because he can throw the ball and he can run the ball also. So that helps us out uh, as a dual threat for our offense. So I'm not really surprised. I've seen the um, flashes of it on the practice field last year, and I wasn't really surprised. But, you know, we had Dejo Simmons last year, so it was a, that, that's, you know, he went to JMU, Division One prospect. So he's taking the place, doing a good job for us. And yeah, I know you've been successful this season running the ball. Did you even think you'd have this much success this season? It surprised me a little because I wasn't known, as I mentioned before. Right. But now I'm making a name for myself. Oh. Someone had to take DeJoy Simmons' spot in the backfield. I guess it was my turn. What will he have to do this year to help y'all make the playoffs? Oh. Well, he just got to keep running hard. He's doing his part. You know, the rest of the team just got to step up. Offense, defense, and special teams. And Jerry is doing his part. So I can't ask too much more from him. What's it going to take for you guys to get to the playoffs? To get to the playoffs, we have to work hard and practice each day, in and out. And we can't take for granted of anything. Well, to make the playoffs right now, I'm just, I'm not even thinking about that. Actually, I'm still trying to think about one game at a time. Um, we had a major setback last week with Lost Tallwood. But you know, just keep practicing hard and um, get these guys that's injured healed up. You know, I told these guys once somebody get hurt, we can't have a drop off with a second person coming in. So that's what we're working on now, trying to get some of the second guys ready because we've got a couple of key injuries. You can follow the Stallions the rest of the season on Cox 11 and in the Virginia Pilot. For Pilot Practice, I'm Larry Obama. And our thanks to Larry for that report. But just a reminder, the VHSL football championships will be seen live here on Cox 11 on December the 11th with the Division 5 game at noon and Division 6 at 4. Once again, those games seen live here on Cox 11. All right, we're going to take a timeout, but don't go anywhere. We've got highlights from Green Run and Kempsville and York and Pocosin right here on the Cox 11 Sports Report. <laughs> 